For more on the visit by UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres to Somalia, we are now joined on the line by our East Africa correspondent, Sarah Kimani. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. What are some of the interventions being implemented by the Somali government to deal with this crisis? Well, uh, the Somali government, as well as uh, the United Nations and other humanitarian aid organizations in Somalia, have started providing uh, relief food and also cash transfers to some of those people who are desperately in need of food aid. Uh, however, it is still not enough, and the UN has made an appeal for $825 million, which should run the country between uh, January and June this year, uh, when they expect that there will probably be rains. But they are warning that uh, the money has been too slow in coming. So far, they have only received $150 million. They still uh, have pledges of about $450 million. But they say that time is fast running out and the window of opportunity to save lives, to make sure that there is no repeat of 2011 is fast closing. And that is the reason why uh, Secretary General Guterres was in Somalia today uh, to raise awareness and to shift focus uh, to Somalia so that uh, aid organizations and the international community uh, can now see that the situation in Somalia is desperate. Now, Sarah, you accompanied Guterres on a visit to um, some of the affected areas. Can you paint a picture for us? How bad is the situation on the ground? Well, I, I would call it desperate. I would say um, it is tragic. And you can see uh, the situation uh, you've just seen in those pictures, uh, little makeshift tents. Those are people who have walked for kilometers. Some of them told us over 100 kilometers. That means for days. Some saying they even attempted to travel with their animals, but most of them uh, watched as their animals die. By the time they reach that camp, their children are hungry, they are thirsty, they are malnourished. The UN is talking about more than 360,000 children who are malnourished. Indeed, we saw some of them, uh, you know, sunken eyes, hungry, desperate. And now there is an outbreak of cholera because there is no water, there is no clean water. And so a lot of people... <coughs> looking for food, looking for water, there is no medical aid, and the situation is made worse by the insecurity in the country. Now, will the Secretary General be visiting other African countries as well who may be affected by drought or by hunger as Somalia is? Yes, on Wednesday, uh, he, that is tomorrow, he, he will be meeting Kenya's president, Uhuru Kenyatta. Kenya is among the countries in the Horn of Africa region that are in desperate need of food aid. In Kenya, at least 2.7 million people in the northern part of the country, in, in at least 23 areas are uh, said to be arid and semi-arid, are also in need of food. Uh, the reason he probably stopping in Kenya and not moving on or to uh, South Sudan, where a famine has been declared, is because uh, Kenya is one of the countries that has support is supporting refugees from both Somalia and South Sudan, a lot of them who are running away from both conflict and hunger. Uh, we expect that uh, while uh, in Kenya we will discuss the situation in Somalia, the situation in South Sudan, but also the situation in Kenya. Uh, the reason he's touring these areas is to raise an awareness because he says in 2011 the UN uh, spoke when people had already died. A famine in Somalia was declared when people had already died. This time, uh, they are rushing uh, to ensure that uh, they have spoken out and they are speaking before uh, people begin to lose their lives. Now, in terms of uh, the UN and uh, the UN leader, Antonio Guterres, the turnaround time that the UN has shown this time around with the crisis in Somalia and other um, parts of uh, Africa where they are, there is effect, affected areas of drought and hunger, is the turnaround time something that uh, the UN should look, should look at for a later stage? Yes, in fact, they're saying that this time they're moving faster, but they say that they're being let down by the international community. In fact, uh, Guterres is sending a warning to the international community saying that uh, uh, failing uh, to reach out to Somalia, failing to help Somalia now will create a global security crisis, indicating that uh, he's not just appealing to the generosity of the international community, but their intelligence, saying that uh, anybody who cares about the security of the country uh, or of the continent of the world then will know that if a famine is declared in Somalia again or if young people are not able to get food and they start moving again he's worried that then that is what causes insecurity. In fact he's now suggesting that there is need to deal with the root causes of terrorism so that 
uh, farming being one of them, hunger being one of them, saying unless there is a sustainable way to deal with the recurrent drought in the Horn of Africa region, then insecurity will continue. And he was uh, very categorical that the international community seems to have shifted more focus to areas like uh, uh, Syria, while in Africa a lot of people are going to bed hungry every night. Sarah, we have to leave it there for now. Thank you so much for joining us. That was our correspondent, Sarah Kimani, giving us a roundup of the visit by UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres to Somalia.